Hello everybody, um, Pyrojack here, and I know it's an awesome upload a video, but I wanted to make something that was not a Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 thing. Like I think I think but now I can since now we actually got now gameplay footage of Dark Souls 1 Remastered. And the receiving end of it wasn't very good. You see, the company that was making, I don't know the actual name, but it was the company that made the Dragon's Dogma Remastered. It was them who made it, and um, when we got the gameplay footage, everyone, a lot of veteran players, were like up in arms, saying like, "This doesn't have any Dark Souls 3 combat. It doesn't have anything new to the gameplay." Well, yeah, it's a remaster. You're talking about a remake. A remake, what they is what they want. They want something that changed Lost Eyes. What they want something that changed the Better Chaos Lost Eyes. They want them to change the gameplay, they want them to do this, that did that, that did this. That wasn't what the company was going for. The company said that they were going to go for something that would have bring in the people who started with 2 or 3. Now, my predictions when I was thinking about the remaster, I was thinking maybe they'll have on the Dark Souls only, but they didn't, so I was like, eh, that's fine by me. Um, I didn't really care. I was like, I got, I'll do all this thing, so I'll, I'll get you, I'll just get reused to the entire, um, four-way rolling again, I'll just, it, it's not that hard to get used to again, I was like, and $40 for this thing, this is ridiculous, hey, so many masters, I can't think of any of their names, because I just don't have a list of them or a script or anything, um, some games that are, like, being ported over, like, Modern Warfare Remastered, charges you, 40 bucks, yeah, but you had to originally buy a game with it. You had to buy Infinite Warfare, which no one wanted. So that's that's not very good. So that is a problem there. And the company is just like, we, in the community of the veteran players are like, all up in arms over this game, and I'm just like, it's a game. You played it, and I was like, the PC player should be given a free discount, or given a discount because they already own the previous title. But what about the PS3 players? What about the Xbox 360? Well, Xbox 360 doesn't really matter because they can still play on their Xbox One. But it's like, either way, if you're going to say PC players deserve a discount, then why not people who already own it on Dark Souls 1 on their older consoles? I own a copy of it, why not give me a discount? And I, don't, and I would still never accept the discount because I would still say, I support the remaster, and I'm still gonna get it on. I'm still gonna get it when it comes out. Might not be on the exact day it comes out, but I'm still gonna get it. Um, another thing to bring up though is with the community. The community, and a lot of some people I know, uh, even some YouTubers, were thinking way too much about the remaster being released. They're thinking it was gonna have Dark Souls 3 combat. It was gonna change the enemies. That's what they thought it was all going to be, but they were thinking of Skull of the First Sin. Skull of the First Sin is a technical remake of the game. They remade the game by altering the game itself to where it had different items and different enemies. That's remaking the game. A remaster is that you're redoing the exact game. You're not changing anything, you're just making it look better in a sense. See, this is where I would wish that some people who are criticizing a title, a game title, gave it some more thought before they opened up their mouths, like with the Dark Souls community, is that if you post something with Dark Souls in it, and it's something they don't like, like let's say someone who really likes Dex Web and they decide to do a Dex build, well then you're, you're, you're a Dex fag. If you do a Sorcery build, oh then you're a Sorcery spammer. If you do a Miracle build, oh then you're just a cheater in the, in the middle of a duel who would heal. You do a pure strength build, then you're fine. That's all people want in Dark Souls is a strength build. Well, then go off and play Lords of the Fallen. You can make an entire strength build there. It doesn't matter. But with Dark Souls, the community is pretty bad when it comes to this stuff because they think that um, Dark that Fall Software is listening to their player opinions and that strength should be the only thing you should ever level up. No, <laughs> they're not going to listen to that thing. He's actually just going to spin out Gnory, which I'm pretty sure he did for quite a while. But, um, that is another thing to worry, that worries me about Dark Souls, that I think that Miyazaki might have also gotten bored of, um, 
the steers as well from user feedback. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking here. I'm not so sure because I'm not him and I'm not any part of Stroud Software. That's just my guess too. Like, I know he was getting bored with the series. I know he wanted the series to stop. Which I'm fine with still. I'm fine with 3 being the last one. In fact, 3 is a really good game. I played Hunt. I have over 200 hours on that game in total across all my main characters and deleted ones. In fact, you're seeing one of my current builds that I call the Executioner. Yeah, pretty stupid name, yeah, but it's mainly built around the Executioner's Great Axe, the Great Sword. Um, now back onto the remaster. Um, I saw the gameplay from Sunlight Blades and Vaddy Video's channel. Um, go check out their videos. Um, they they have actual footage of the remaster. And Vaddy himself um, said that he was expecting too much. There was some stuff in the vid in the game that he was just thinking that shouldn't be that he was thinking was just too much to ask for for a remaster. I think one of them was unidirectional rolling or Dark Souls 3 like combat because. You actually see in the combat here is that it's very fast. It's more fast paced than the first game. Now you can now you can see um, Dark Souls combat as like a waltz. It's kind of slow. It's meant to be methodical, almost like you have to make sure you hit the enemy. You don't lose health. But look how fast I can take these guys out here. See, so I roll away. I just do that. Simple as that. Just three swings, and I get both of them in one shot. You see, that is really fast. Now, Dark Souls 1, you can get to this point, but the combat's a lot slower. It's more of a cue. So that's why you don't really see me spamming R1 whenever I play on any of my videos. I don't just start mashing R1 and hoping to get a hit in. I hit R1 once. If I miss, I roll away. If I land a hit, I'll roll forward try to land another blow. If I know I can't get the hit, I'm going to roll away either way. I'm not going to stand there and get hit. Now, see in here, I believe this fight here between me and a Silver Knight is more true. See, I knew I could get those two hits in, but I kind of wanted to get lucky to try to get that third one in. You see, now look at that. See, I knew I was going to be able to power through that attack with Hyper Armor, so I still hit all one and continue through my swing. But people want this into Dark Souls 3, well then that's the case, then we gotta put in the FP bar. See, if we're, if we're making a Dark Souls 3 combat, it's not Dark Souls 1. It's now Dark Souls 3 with a Dark Souls 1 painting over it. That's just my thing with remasters, that the remaster I just know is just gonna be more of a graphical thing, which I'm perfectly fine because lights on 60 FPS or at least 30 FPS, hopefully. Oh, and another thing to bring up to you about the remaster is that people are pissed about the um, Switch version. Which I... Now, they might not be, like, everywhere, but I've met people and talked to some people who are like that. They were getting all up and on saying that Nintendo doesn't really care about the Dark Souls. Well, you do know the Switch is built to be mobile. It's meant to be carried around with you. They built Dark Souls 1 remaster to be designed as if you're on the road. Playing Dark Souls 1 on the road. Oh, yeah, by the way, do not throw your controller with the Switch version, or else you're going to buy a whole new console. Be careful with that. But this video here is just me venting what I know about the community. I just want to just get out of me because I don't really talk about it. So, if this is not. If this is like jump from remaster to community to remaster. I'm sorry. It's just. I like to get my stuff out because I've had this in me for about a good few years right now. Community, so sorry about that, but um, just to bring it up though is the community wants to control the Sears. They want to be the ones that let the control from software. Um, and some people think they do. Like, um, have you ever seen this giant dad meme that surfaced up when the first game came out? Um, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> um. All you need is the giant armor of the Chaos Roy Honda weapon and the, the Mask of the Father. There you go. And you just do the... Well, the... My, the what was it called? Like, uh, Welcome? Or something like... You walk forward, have your arms up, like, uh... Kind of like, What's Up? You know, kind of like that. Um, but... It's... 
And I don't see a problem with Pope with making fun with the game, but when it gets to the point where people say that's all you should be making in Dark Souls, then there's something wrong with it. Now mind you, this is a community I don't like, and I'm going to end this here soon. I got two more minutes. Um, the thing that worries me though is also with the hate mail is, if you're a person playing Dark Souls and your game mad at a player, just play offline for a while, but then, but then everyone's like, I'm not going to get better PvP. Well, how about you make your build proper for the area you are located in? Now see, in the, while we're from this video, I ran into an invader and he had Kirk's Thorn Armor on. So he was like he was trying to cosplay with him, but instead he had the buckler shield, so he was trying to parry me. I almost beat him, but internet latency had that after my swing went all the way up and past. He parried me at that moment, and I got parried in there, and I died from it. Um, I had like half health from what you're seeing there. Um. So I guess I and I wasn't even mad. I was just like, okay, you won, whatever. I can trigger my souls, that's why I stayed right near the bonfire when I die, so... It's just a kind of a thing where it's like, people in the game take things too serious whenever they play, so... That's just my thing, so it's like, it's a game, calm down, people. Um, so I guess this video is about me talking about Dark Souls right now, so I've been inventing out of it. Um... Just gonna wrap this up real quickly here. Is that Dark Souls Master? I'm still gonna buy it. I'm, I'm also gonna stream it too whenever I get the chance. And I might remake my old build that I had when I played uh, the game the first time around. Although I would actually fix it to where I actually know what the hell I'm doing. Um, which it was basically if my build originally was my first was a Dex build that had you know comments that there was no no scaling up with it, but whatever. See you guys later. Thank you all for enjoying my video. If you like it, please comment, like, and subscribe to see my other videos. And sometime this week I'll get another Xenoverse 2 video. Alright, thank you. Bye.